Hello and welcome to Pink Panthers Podcast. Today we are talking about my money, my business. Basically, I'm saying the money that I make, the money that I receive, the money I get, the money I win, how I spend it is my business. It's no concern of yours. A lot of people, you know, they tend to dip their big nose in other people's business, rather than worrying about what's on their plate, they're trying to see what's on mine. If you don't pay any bills over here and you're not lending me any money, don't worry about how I spend my money. Don't. All right? It's pointless. I read a post. So I read a post and um, in the post... Um, the post read, if you got a stimulus check and you went out shopping and got, you know, this, that, and the third, bought clothes or took a trip and you didn't buy a house or land or property, you a bum. Really? Really? They're bums? What house? You? I don't know. I, I don't. I live in New York and I don't know of a house or property or land any type of real estate, I can put down one thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> I can't. I don't know. I, I. I. This is that. You know that is unheard of. I don't live in the backwoods, so I. I have no idea. And even in, in the backwoods, I'm certain you cannot just get land, property, any type of real estate with. $1,500 because that's what the stimulus was. For some people it was 18, some people it was 2,000 depending on how many kids I guess you have. But nobody was getting anything more than 2,000 2,000 I'll, I'll even say 2,500. You're still not getting a real estate for $2,500. <laughs> I don't understand why people why you have to call a person a bum? Why? Why do they have to do what you want them to do? Suppose the person don't want a house. Everyone in the world don't want that responsibility. Just because you opted to buy a house or land or real estate, that's your business. Oh, you should be buying a house. And what if they don't want a house? What if they ain't got no kids? What if it's just them? You want them to go buy this three-bedroom house and live in there all by themselves? Oh, no, let me guess. No, buy the house and rent it out. Yeah, buy the house, become a landlady, become a landlord, rent it out. That's what you want, right? Because that's what you want. That's not what this person wants to do with their money. That's what you want them to do with the money. Because why? Oh, be smarter. Be smarter. Invest. That You're the business. That's, that's you. You're in business. You like to do that. Stop trying to dictate and delegate other people's lives. Stop it. Oh, you shouldn't be living in an apartment. You're in a low-income house. You got Section 8. You got this. You got that. Why? Well, you, you Because you own a house or two, you feel like you have arrived? No. Sit down. There's a seat in the corner for you. All right? Put on the dunce hat. Stop it. Everyone does not want to buy a house. It's like everybody don't want to own a business. Some people are content. They're, they're happy with how they live. Some people are very simple. You know, they're in their little quiet life. They don't want any, they don't feel like dealing with tenants. The hell? They don't have, to, what the, yeah, the hell? Exactly. They don't feel like dealing with, you know, a headache. Real estate is a headache. I'm sorry. It is. It's a headache. Because now you're a landlady or a landlord and you got tenants. I know you got that. You get insurance. You take them to court, blah, blah, blah. If they mess up the house, if they burn it down, you got the insurance. You know, you still have to deal with them if they feel like they don't want to pay the rent and things of that nature. Now you have to go to court. Who? That, that's a headache some people don't want to deal with. So why are you forcing them? Leave people alone. Leave them alone. If you want to buy a house, you buy a house. If you want to open a business, you open a business. 
It's a difference when you encourage someone to do something rather than belittle them and put them down because of your choices. Everybody don't want to be like you. Some people are happy the way they are. You want to, you know, uproot people and because you feel like they should be doing this because you, oh, I've been here. I've traveled here. I've owned, I, I own two homes. I own a business. I own, you know, land, a property. Kudos. All right. And if you want people to follow your lead, there's a better way to say it. There's a, your, it's your delivery. Calling people bums and names. That's not necessary. I'm definitely, I personally wouldn't follow you. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. There's no way you sh- you call yourself a leader, but you're belittling and putting down people because they didn't do what you expect them to do with $1,200. Be real about yourself, people. Be real. You know, you have not arrived. All right? When you got, when you got, what's this guy named? Um, Jeff Bezos' money from Amazon. What is he worth? $150 billion? Oh, yeah, you've arrived. When you have that type of money, then you've arrived. But you can't belittle someone because you feel like you're rocking with the Joneses. No. No. You got a little bit of knowledge of real estate, and now you feel like you've arrived. No. Everyone do not have to spend their money the way you choose. It's just... (laughs) It's pathetic. I, I I just don't get it. I hear people talking all the time around me. Oh, you guys, you know, I don't understand why people don't get into the real estate business. I don't understand why people don't do this and don't do that with their money. If it bothers you that much then you should start seminars. If it bothers you that much, stop complaining online on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, okay? Get off social media bashing these people and take it to a different level. Try a more personable approach. How about start a seminar, do a workshop, For free, since you're saying they, you know, they live in low income houses, since they own welfare, you know, since you're belittling them because they live in an apartment and you have a house. So obviously they can't afford to get a ticket to your seminar. So why don't you have a free seminar? Get on the stage and coach them rather than bash them on because nobody learns. I'm not going to learn that way. And then you get all of your fans and all of the all of the people who sniffing behind you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, tell them. Ooh, child. Oh yeah, she said it. Oh, he said the right thing. Oh, he gonna hurt a lot of feelings. Oh, she. Oh my goodness, a lot of people gonna put their foot in their mouth now. That's all the people that's sniffing behind, trying to stay in your good grace. But no, that's not the way to do it. People should be able to spend their money however they choose, whatever makes them happy, all right? Don't let your food get cold worrying about what's on my plate. Concentrate on your own life. Yes, concentrate on your life. And again, if you want to establish, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to build a rapport Right, you want to establish a, a relationship with the outside world. All right, you want the community to follow you and to, I guess, gain knowledge of real estate and business. Do it in a better way. The because your delivery was just terrible, and I'm talking to those people out there who feel like they've arrived. And I know I said that a million times on this podcast, but I'm going to keep saying it. You have not arrived. I don't care if you're driving a 2021 Aston Martin. I don't care if you own two or three homes. I don't care if you are nasty, if you are a nasty individual and you feel like, you know, the world is supposed to bow down to you 
or people who have less than you is supposed to bow down to you and look at you like you're a God, you are wrong. You are wrong. Terrible. Folks, listen, don't let people don't know how to lead guide you. I'll say that again. Don't allow people who don't know how to lead guide you. It all starts with communication. If you can't communicate with me properly, then you definitely can't be my leader. I'm not following you. Calling people bums, stupid, dumb, idiots. Are you crazy? Because I didn't do what you said I should do with my money? What? How is that taken away from your life? How? Don't let your food get cold worrying about what's on my plate. Huh? (laughs) I'll say that again. Don't let your food get cold worrying about what's on my plate. Now, if you feel like you want to go and do real estate or business, then fine. Fine, but don't allow people to call you dumb or bums because, you know, you didn't do what they said you should be doing with your money. If they're going to teach you, they they should teach you properly. Do a seminar, like I said. Do a workshop. Stand up on a stage and talk to these people properly. People feel like because they make a few dollars more than someone else that everybody's beneath them. No, nobody's beneath you. You're not Jeff Bezos, you're not Amazon, you're not Oprah, you're not Bill Gates. No, you don't make that kind of money. Be humble. You had to start somewhere. And if they decide to take their little stimulus check and do whatever the heck they wanted to do with it, that's their business. It's definitely not yours. Because again, how is it taking from your life? Anyway, folks, my time is up here so glad you tuned in. Thanks for listening. I'll see you on the next podcast. Have a lovely day. Bye.